Last week, we witnessed a player on Twitch owning as a Shadow Priest while using a wand controller. But that wasn't even the craziest thing we saw. Because while using Drustvar's new rating distribution data, we learned which specs have the highest chance to get 1800 in the latest patch. And after seeing some of the wild results, we decided that it's definitely time to update our tier list for the average player. One thing that actually surprised us when looking at the data is that some specs are actually outperforming public perception. Despite being weaker melee overall, survival hunters have an almost identical rating distribution as Feral Druid, while having very similar win rates between Challenger and Rival. But what's actually going on? If we had to guess, most survival hunter mains are incredibly loyal to their spec. Players like Big Mechs here are proof that time and dedication can outperform flavor of the month re-rolling. That's why our class courses are so insanely OP for gaining rating, because they teach the fundamentals needed to actually reach your potential, putting you miles ahead of any reroller. Skillcapped is our name for a reason. We have almost 15 years of experience teaching WoW PvP to over half a million players, helping them reach their rating goals season after season faster than the competition. And no matter what, we will back you up with a rating gain guarantee where we promise that you will see rating gains while actively using our website. We even offer a 14-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee for those of you who just want to try us out. So after this video, be sure to click the link below for an exclusive discount to get started. For now, back to the tier list. So what does the data say about the health of melee DPS in Solo Shuffle? If you're 1800 in Solo Shuffle, you are in the top 11% for melee DPS. The specs that are underperforming at this rating include both DK specs, Demon Hunters, Sub Rogue, and surprisingly, Fury Warrior. Everyone else is performing much better, but it might surprise you which spec actually has the highest chance to get 1800 in the current meta. It's actually Enhancement Shaman, who after recent buffs has the highest win rate of any melee across all ratings. You could make an argument that Feral Druid is better, but if you go by data alone, Enhance has the best chance of achieving Rival in the current meta. As we also discovered within our data, ranged DPS are currently outperforming melee, from Challenger all the way up the ladder. It's possible that BM Hunter could be skewing some of this data for sure, but with the sheer amount of casters in the meta, it makes sense why Enhancement would be performing so well. They are incredibly durable thanks to seasoned winds, which turns them into a Terminator just for landing wind shear, and above anything else, they are just really annoying to deal with as any spell with a cast bar. There's a few more honorable mentions worth looking at, and one is actually Arms Warrior, who is up there as one of the highest performers up to 1800. Now, we know there will be a lot of comments saying that Warrior dies a lot and gets countered by Mage, but not to spoil too much, but even Frost Mage underperforms in the climb to rival. Anyway, after their recent buffs, Arms Warriors have seen enormous gains in the meta, now having one of the best win rates out of any melee from 1400 to 1800, barely lagging behind Feral Druid. If WoW specs were ice cream, Arms Warrior is vanilla. It's relatively inoffensive and pairs well with almost everything else. Now, despite recent trends with Arms Warrior and Enhancement Shaman, we still think that Feral Druid is still a solid choice for most players. While it's not exactly flavor of the month at this point, it's still incredibly consistent across all ratings, despite a few nerfs in the recent patch. In fact, if we had to guess why Feral isn't the number one performer, it's precisely the fact that it was flavor of the month at one point, attracting the same rerollers that we saw with Rhett Paladin and Demon Hunter back in Dragonflight, but on an objectively more difficult spec. Right now, it's not really obvious what the best melee is for average players. Enhanced, Survival, Arms, and Feral are all doing pretty well, but not exceptional. Unfortunately, we now have to venture deep into the Dalaran sewers to reveal what we still think is one of the worst melee for most players. Not to inflate Peekaboo's ego, but it's probably Sub Rogue. This spec is still one of the worst performing melee up to 1800, which is only cemented by its recent rework and nerf to the infamous Flag one-shot. You don't even have to look at Peekaboo's stream to see rogues in tears, as these nerfs arguably hit lower rated players the hardest. And for those of you out there who might be wondering, Demon Hunter and both DK specs are also severely underperforming up to rival. But what is super surprising is that Frost seems to be neck and neck with Unholy at these ratings. Even at high ratings, Zeke is proving that Frost is more competitive than most players think. Anyway, that brings us to our updated, realistic melee tier list for most players in the new patch. Enhancement Shaman was definitely a shocker, no pun intended, and for all the one tricks out there, survival is having much better results than we would have predicted. But what does the data say about ranged DPS? Right now, if you are 1800 in solo shuffle, you are in the top 16%, which when compared to Melee's top 10.5% is why we said we are probably in a caster meta. The current underperforming specs include Balanced Druids, Augmentation Evokers, Marks Hunters of all things, then all three mage specs, and finally Destruction Warlock. That leaves everyone else as our overperformers with three very clear standouts. 
BM Hunter is obviously one of them, and is actually the spec most likely to achieve 1800. Who could have guessed making the easiest spec in the game insanely OP would produce these results? Anyway, we don't have to spend much time talking about BM Hunter, you probably know they're really good at every rating. Even your mom probably knows it too at this point. Anyway, there is one spec that definitely deserves an honorable mention. It's Demonology Warlock, who seemed to get buffed in almost every single tuning patch so far this season. Demo is actually the second most likely spec to reach 1800 in the current meta, trailing right behind BM Hunter. And right now, it actually has the highest win rate in the entire game for any DPS spec across all ratings. In the most recent wave of class tuning, Demo got a massive quality of life buff as Dread Stalkers were changed to give a guaranteed demonic core. On top of some other damage buffs, it's no surprise Demo is doing so well. One key advantage of Demo right now is the popularity of other casters. Due to having a healing reduction effect, Demonology is massively advantaged in caster lobbies while still synergizing well with other melee. Outside of Demo, there are still a few great choices. Shadow Priest and Devastation of Ochre continue to have really high win rates, but we think Shadow Priest has fallen off slightly after recent nerfs. What was a huge surprise though is just how bad Mark's Hunter seems to be performing after recent nerfs. At the time of writing this video, it is the least likely spec to reach 1800. And if we cross-reference that with its recent win rates, it's clear that Mark's is underperforming. There's a big chance that some of this data is skewed by Beast Mastery. Most players likely swap specs before rating inflation hit, and are keeping Mark's parked in the garage while they reap the rewards of BM rating gains. What was also surprising is just how bad every mage spec is performing. As a whole, the mage class currently has one of the weakest rating distribution curves. Less mages are reaching 1800 compared to any other ranged class. Across all ratings, Frost is really underperforming, having a similar win rate to Holy Priest of all things. Even at the highest ratings, when you scroll down the first few pages of the ladder, Mage is almost invisible. Right now, the meta is just very unfavorable for Mage. With melee underperforming and in a sea full of BM hunters and elemental shamans, Mage is just a small fish swimming in a big pond. That brings us to our updated realistic tier list for the new patch. By the way, we know that BM Hunter just got nerfed, but doing some quick pencil math, it will only be a 5% damage loss overall, and we still expect it to be S tier for most players. In any case, the landscape of ranged DPS is quite competitive, and the recent buffs to Demo Warlock are proving to be much more impactful than we originally predicted. We're going to immediately warn you that some of the healer data blew our mind. Right now, if you are 1800 in solo shuffle, you are in the top 15%. Which, unsurprisingly, Holy Paladins and Disc Priests are performing the best, with everyone else performing worse than the average distribution. But can you guess what healer is the least likely to get Challenger and Rival? No, it's not Holy Priest. It's actually Resto Druid. That's right, if you are 1800 right now as a Resto Druid, you are almost in the top 5%. There are so many paladins and priests on the ladder compared to any other healer by far. These two specs make up around 60% of the healer representation. Pretty crazy. The reason why paladin is so good is because it has the best of both worlds. Not only does it have a wide range of cooldowns to reduce or even prevent damage, but holy paladin healing output is actually pretty strong too. Unlike in the past where paladins might struggle to heal in deep dampening, they are now doing much better, all while having lay on hands as some sort of late game cheat code. Right now though, because of the pace the game, being able to reduce damage intake is a really big deal. That also helps explain why Disc Priest is so good too. With two charges of a 50% damage reduction pain suppression, Priests have a much easier time dealing with huge damage swings. People seem to misunderstand why Disc Priest is actually good. It's not because of its offensive potential, but instead, its defensive strength. If there's one healer that definitely deserves an honorable mention, it's Mistweaver Monk, who is doing much better compared to the early season. With a recent rework, Monks now have a hybrid caster Fistweaver playstyle, thanks to ancient teachings becoming passive, and with the ability to do huge AoE healing with Crackling Jade Lightning and Rushing Wind Kick. Right now, a significant portion of Monk healing is coming from these two spells alone. We still think monks have some structural problems that make them a bit worse at the highest ratings, but for the average player, they are now a much better option. We mentioned earlier that Resto Druid is actually struggling harder than Holy Priest in the grind to rival ratings. One thing that both of these healers share in common is that they have much weaker damage mitigation tools compared to other healers. Holy Priest and Resto Druid are throughput based healers, and if the healing simply isn't there, then you will struggle hard. These are both healers that need to constantly spam globals in order to keep up with damage, and one simple mistake, like getting kicked or taking a CC, means that you will be at a massive disadvantage since your recovery options are much weaker. 
Anyway, that brings us to our updated healer tier list for the average player. Right now, it's pretty clear that there is a huge gap in the healer meta, which is significantly worse up to rival ratings. The number one thing that continues to be a problem for any healer, especially those on the low tiers, is simply healing output. You need to do your rotation perfectly to keep up with the pace of solo shuffle. We tailored each one of our healing courses to break down your rotation into a few simple steps that you can easily implement in your next arena, which we promise will mean more rating gains. Last expansion alone, we helped thousands of healers just like you hit their rating goals, like Gizmo here, a resto druid hard stuck at rival with over 5,000 games played, who gained over 600 rating in a few weeks just by using skill cap. Our damage and healing courses save you weeks or even months of your time, condensing down everything you need to know into bite-sized videos. You don't have to be scared to sign up because we have a rank up guarantee that promises you will gain at least 400 rating while using our service. So if you're serious about climbing, visit the discount link below to get started. Anyway guys, we want to thank you all for watching, see you soon.